Isn't that sweet? So... Yo, what is up everyone? How's it going? And welcome back to Get Jacked here in Arch Survival Evolved. Now, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be going out, we're going to be taming up and testing the new Allosaurus that they just implemented into the game in the latest patch. Now, they added a ton of stuff into this one, so there are going to be a lot of videos related to this new update, but this one's going to be focused all on the Allosaurus just because this one's exciting. This guy is pretty cool. Uh, they released the uh, you know, everything, all the information and all that kind of stuff on him about 11 months ago. It's been a long time uh, since we've learned that he was going to be in the game. So he finally is. Uh, we're able to, let's see here, grab a saddle for him. I think I, already, I, I learned the, the saddle right here. So we've got that all squared away. Now, this guy is a pack hunter. He's a larger version of a, a raptor, basically. Now, they spawn actually in groups of three. And what they should do is, I, I mean, I haven't seen it yet, so we have to go find one, is uh, they actually have one that's going to be a lot stronger. It's going to be like the Alpha car, or alpha Allosaurus. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to tame that one because that one actually has some bonuses to taming it. Uh, it's a little bit stronger, has certain effects, and I'll definitely get into those as we go. But what we have to do first is we have to go and we have to find these because I am hoping that we find them still in a pack uh, so that we can hopefully tame more than one and kind of test out their taming bonus or their pack bonus altogether. So as you can tell, I'm pretty excited about this one. If we're going to go out, I've got, let's see here, I've got lots of defensive weaponry because if they come at us, we're not going to want to deal with that. So I've got shotgun, ammo, a ton of that. <laughs> I've also got some healing stuff and whatnot. I don't want to kill them, though. That's why I've got so many trank darts. So I've got 249 and uh, or 42, so or 49, whatever it is. But anyway, we're going to be able to hopefully take out maybe two or three of these guys so that's the plan and we're gonna go find them i'm gonna actually take the wreck so if anything goes wrong this guy can take care of business so we're gonna take him we're gonna go find where these guys are at all right so i have found a pack of these guys i have been going around forever seriously it's taken a really long time to find these i force killed all the dinos on the server you know when the update rolled in and I've been waiting for a really long time. I finally, finally found a pack of these guys, and I'm really excited. So, where we're at is right here on the map, right down in the bottom part of this landmass. Now, this is the most common place for Allosaurus, uh, on the wiki at least. I'm not sure if that's been updated recently. I've been running around here forever, and this is the first pack that I found. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to get a little bit closer. As you can see, oh crap, they're coming closer. I don't know if they're going to aggro on a Rex. Usually other predators do not. That's why I'm that's why I'm riding them. But look at that. Now, there are three when they when they spread apart, three of oh crap crap. What was that? Get out of here. Why are you freaking me out for you, stupid bug? Okay. Anyway, uh when they are spread up is that another one? Dang it. Alright, let me clear these out real quick. Really, right at this moment, we have to do this. Are they gone? No, there's another one. Where did these even Hold up, hold up. Get out of here. The turning radius on these guys. Alright, we had to do a full circle to take them out. But, anyway, when the Allosaurus, I kind of saw them before, and when they were spread apart, one of they were none of them were glowing, basically. Now, when all three of them came together, which they spawned together like that, I'm assuming they're over there where that guy's attacking. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so they're over here. And, yeah, when the, then when they get together, one of them starts glowing. And I think, let's see if it was the highest level one that did so. Okay, let's get off of this so I can see better. Oh, jeez. And these, thing, these things, seriously, they look awesome. Once we get closer, I'll show you. Let's just, let's just ride up there. We'll see if they attack the wreck. I can withstand quite a bit of damage anyway. So let's go see these guys. See, they're apart, and none of them were glowing. Now they've been together... Let's see if one of them will start glowing. Yep, see, there he is. Okay, so let's see if it was it's, it's the highest level one, because that would be convenient. 102? Okay, that guy's 102. All right, so Andy is the glowing one, so he must be the highest. I probably shouldn't be on the ground, because they will aggro on me. 48? Okay, let's get back on the Rex. All right, so we've got a 48, a 102, and... Don't go away. Go away, snakes. Are they going to aggro on me? No, they won't. Perfect. Now, 
They are. Oh no, they are. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Oh. Oh no. Oh. This is bad. This tree is in the way. And I don't want to kill these guys. They're not doing. I mean, they've got the bleed damage, as you can see, but I'm slowed as well. I'm not I'm not sure if I'm slowed or if they are stuck within me. And this is this is kind of ridiculous. Alright, so unfortunately that whole pack died. <laughs> I spent so much time searching for them and trying to tame them, and unfortunately they all just one killed itself trying to kill a dire bear. Another one tried to kill a Pariser by itself, so that one died as well. And then the third one, I, mean, I don't even remember what it died. It died to something else. I think it was like a Terror Bird or something. Something ridiculous. But anyway, sadly, that's kind of how they are. They don't seem to be very strong in the wild. So I found three more, another pack. It took a really long time again. So, you know, they, they just get, you shoot them just like any normal dinosaur. I'm just up on a rock ledge and I'm able to shoot the whole pack all at once. So hopefully I'll be able to get these here. I'm just going to speed up through the shooting part because, you know, it's the same for every dinosaur and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, we just want to get to the good stuff. We want to see what it's like to tame them and test them out. So I'm just going to go through this process. Sadly, I didn't get the first pack that we found. These ones are a little bit lower level, but not really by that much. I mean, the highest is level 94. So I'm just going to continue to shoot these, and we'll see where this takes us. tag my compies but anyway check this out I'm on the ground I don't know what happened but I think once they got enough to pour into them they they just straight up ran oh oh last shot perfect uh, but anyway they just ran like full speed away from me and I chased them down was shooting them from behind where'd the other one go I knocked them down somewhere over here right here there we go so Topor 6580. Now that's quite a bit of Topor. That took a long time. It took a lot of darts. I actually had to grab more and another a gun out of my uh, T Rex. I had them stashed away just in case. But, okay, so he's down over there. Where'd that other one go? I don't want to lose it. It looks like their Topor is not going to go in anywhere soon. So I'm going to be able to get a lot of Prime and be able to feed these guys. Oh, yeah. But anyway, they ran full speed away from me. I, it must have been because they had too much Topor. And I chased them down, got them to here, which is really... F I'm not even sure where my Rex ended up. We, we ended up back over in this spot. But anyway... They ran away. I don't know if that's a mechanic or it just turned out that they, you know, it was the normal runaway. But it didn't seem like the normal runaway mechanic to me. So, what we got to do is I need to find my Rex. I'm going to get some Prime for these guys and we'll see what that process goes along like. Also, uh, to note, the the kibble that these guys are going to take is the Diplo kibble, kibble. So, there is actually use for that now. I've got a few pieces. I'll probably use it to tame up the third Allosaurus here now that we've got the two. Um, but... I need to traverse my way through the jungle and see where that T-Rex is left because I have no idea. Alright, so here we are. Al has been tamed up. Al the Allosaurus. I just figured I'd go with that for now. So, his health is at uh, 3,100. We've got 600 stamp. Not that much stamina, actually. I haven't been able to ride him, obviously, because I didn't bring a saddle out here. I'm going to have to bring them all back to base and test them out there. So, oh, he actually decent amount of health per per level he's been sitting over here for a little bit waiting for this guy now i didn't do anything with this tame quite yet i've just been babysitting it giving it narcotics and all that kind of stuff it did not take that many narcotics so it really wasn't that bad i think i have pumped maybe 150 into him waiting over this entire time so that one just tamed up a little bit ago and i've got all of the prime here for this guy now it doesn't take too long to find prime in this area i mean there are parasers everywhere so i'm gonna take oh wait wait, wait. i just heard a die low oh right here oh there we go 
Stop it. Okay, so, dang, it, this place is, is annoying because there are terror birds everywhere, for one, and I actually, as you can see, I had to build up some cloth armor because all my riot gear was killed, or, or not killed, but, um, destroyed by a dire bear that was level 100. It was ridiculous, so I almost lost that fight. So, anyway, oh, I took all this prime out. Now it's gonna spoil. Okay, I need to pump all these in. So, his food is down almost 2,000. So, he's been sitting here for a long time so I'm just gonna pump all these in and I hope that this is enough to just tame them up how long does that have three minutes okay that's totally enough time all right look at that go up oh, oh his taming effectiveness is down a little bit okay I did get attacked by a Carno as well when I was checking his stats and stuff and it, I, that must have brought down his effectiveness which is really sad because this is this is a full prime tame. I've been sitting here forever with this guy. Is that going to be enough? There's more in here. Okay. There we go. That's really sad, though. I'm, I'm really sad about that 60% because I've been sitting here this whole time waiting to feed him all this prime. Give me that back. Okay. Is that enough? There we go. All right. So we'll go with Allie. Perfect. Because this is a female, right? Yes, okay, so they are mate boosted coming out at one two three the colors on this one are so cool Look at this. Let me turn off the overlay. Look at that Like a, a really really Light colored bottom with a really dark top and a little bit of red mixed in there That's cool. Okay, so we've got let's see how quick you are to follow. Okay, you are following. Let's go over here Come on. This is your friend you guys spawned in together. I know it so we'll come over here, and they, let's line them up together. Yeah, the, she definitely has way cooler colors than him. I mean, his, his are pretty cool too, but, yeah, look at that. 109 and 123. These things are hopefully going to be out. What are your stats? How much health do you have? A little bit less health, actually. A uh, bit more into melee damage. 241 to 164, so she is quite a bit stronger. I'm going to be using you. You're probably going to be the leader, because I'm going to go out. I'm going to find up a lower level one, because I just need to tame up one so that we can finish the three and actually get the bonuses. So follow me. Come here. Okay. So I'm going to take the Rex. We're going to try and navigate our way back, and then I'm going to search for a single one. Oh, look at him just jump. That's so cool. I wish they got a, uh, because the, like the pack ones, they don't get the the plus number above their head like the compies which is is interesting that's sad that they didn't do that but anyway i'm gonna walk these back to base get another one and we'll test out and see how strong they are with and without the pack all right so i went out i tamed up another allosaurus this one was really low level i think it was like level 12 or something like that when i tamed it up so it wasn't wasn't anything special but I really wanted that third one so that we could get this bonus going. Now, I tested it out a little bit, and it is. It's really cool. Okay, so anyway, let's take our Allosaurus. This is our highest level one. So we're going to take her over here. She's, you know, she's just normal. And look at how the tail moves with her body. I think uh, the whole animation is really cool as well. This is like, I don't know. This is going to be one of my favorite dinosaurs, I think. But anyway, we'll attack the training dummy. So we've got 506 damage. Now that's with our left click. Oh, oh, she's starting to glow. Oh, I didn't want her to do that quite yet. But anyway, with our left click, we did 520 damage. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of the glow. Look at how cool it looks, by the way. It's like you have your own little alpha. But if you click the right mouse button, it does not do anything right now, as well as C. C doesn't do anything at this point. So that's going to change here in a second so what we're gonna do we'll just tag this one more time 506 so that's what it's gonna be we'll get over here we'll get into our little aura area just gotta wait for a few seconds it'll, it'll start to activate there we go okay so now we've got a icon in the upper right corner not sure I think that just signifies that we're in range of the other one so we've got our aura and check this out Boom, 759. So she does quite a bit more. Now, the other special thing is now, if I right click, we have another attack. Now, this attack causes bleed damage. I wonder if it shows on the target. No, it doesn't. But this should cause bleed damage on what you attack. So look at how quick their attack is, by the way. 
That is really fast. I think this is a lot faster than how they were attacking me in the wild. But anyway, that's that. This is the... That actually has a pretty quick attack animation, too. So, that's really useful. But now, there is one more really cool thing about this little boost that I've got. I'm going to turn off the overlay. So, what you can actually do is now... What, I mentioned the C button before it didn't work. And now it does work. So there is a use for it so we're gonna face these guys and check this out this is so cool I'm gonna, I'm gonna go into K right here one second let's scroll out and I'm gonna hit C and check this out there's also floating grass here by the way I think it's something about the ruins and I apologize about that but check this out isn't that sweet so he's got his own little I wouldn't say roar more of a yell and then the other two follow in suit and I'd assume any other ones that you have, you know, in the area. So I think that's super cool. They're actually getting this kind of AI and stuff. Oh, I'm still in K. Whoops. All right. But it's really cool that they're getting that AI and stuff because these guys are really cool. Why don't we go see? Let me see if I can go find something. I'll just go attack quick just because that attack speed is just... The attack speed on this guy is just really crazy, actually. Oh, that's our bear. I don't want to attack him. Let's see how fast it... See, it is really fast here when you're also just out of the aura. So I don't think it's changed too much from that. Let's see if anything's over here. Alright, I found some stuff for us to attack. So let's see here. I'm going to attack this trike. See how this goes. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Bloody already. Yeah, this, these guys do way more when you actually have them than what they were doing on my T-Rex. was. They were doing very little. Now watch this. Oh, my goodness. They just eat them. I mean, it was a level 8 Parasaur, but I mean, they eat things alive. These things are really cool and really powerful. So, I really like the new Allosaurus. I think it's a really destructive dinosaur. Now, you're going to have to be careful of these in the wild because I think they're really going to damage you. It, it seems like on a larger dinosaur, you're really not going to have any problems. But, I mean, what are you going to do? Anyway, we've got our three Allosaurus. I'm definitely going to take them out, ta uh, train them up a little bit. Do some other stuff here in the future with those because I actually really like this dinosaur. But anyway, if you like this video, definitely hit that thumbs up. Definitely helps me out here on the channel and or subscribe for more content. You all have a great rest of your day. Thanks a lot for sticking in and we'll catch you next time.